from the size of them, they're going to be either uh, true tulips or possibly horse conch because those that's a pretty, pretty large uh, length shell. I'm actually it's not the largest I've seen like the last big batch. So they're crispy and dry. We're going to submerge them in water and maybe in a little while we're going to see the little critters actually hydrate and start crawling around. And we'll just keep looking and see what else we can find. Here's a, a white bowl with some seawater that we took out of this bucket that has all our, our eggs that we took off of the beach a little while ago. I'm going to take the liberty for the first time. I've never opened them. I always let them do what they do naturally, but I'm going to try opening an egg casing and seeing if any of them actually are viably alive yet or how long it takes to rehydrate. So we're, we're actually at about two hours they've been in the bucket. Some of them look like, a, almost like a pastiness. But then, let's see. Let's turn it over. Um, right there. This we're gonna try this one right here. They look like little tiny round things. We're gonna open this one and see what happens. Well, there's our separated single casing, and I'm going to cut it open now, but I, I don't know if you can see the, uh, they look like little grains. We'll find out what they are, and if they're alive. Okay, I, I cut the end off of the egg casing, and there's still air bubbles coming out, which are showing, um, well, that uh, there's still air in that egg casing sack, but let's see what happens if we help them get out, and then what happens. Out of the egg casing that was on the beach, and it was sounded, remember they were crispy and crackling on the beach, and dry? Okay, well, I figured out a way to get them out, for one thing, it's uh, with some practice and different methods. You take your tweezer, and then you go to a cutting board with a knife, hold the the egg casing with the tweezer on the cutting board and then cut off the tip of the case like I did and then with your tweezer submerge it submerge the egg casing and jiggle it around until the air bubbles come out and then we're still waiting because we want proof positive that these dudes would have died and they didn't. So the minute I see one in here and I can identify it <clears throat> as one that came out of a dried up egg casing, I will film it and we will have proof positive that this, this is a viable option <laughs> for, uh, you know, helping our biomass. Casing. Uh, it looks like a, tri um, a piece of pie, a wedge, has those little horse conchs in it, and they're not as mature as the ones that we see on the mesh. You can see all these little orange colored miniature newly hatched juveniles. They hatched in the bucket, and their eggs were on the beach, high and dry in a low tide, in the high tide zone. Therefore, I haven't gone into the entire bag yet, but I'm just so happy that we have a success story. And all these horse conchs, which are the largest snail in our atmosphere, I'm sorry, our hemisphere, well, these guys, since they were not around predators, have probably have a jump start on their life by about a week. Um, from not having been um, eaten by crabs, other snails, fish, their little tasty treats. I'm sure anything that is an omnivore would have scooped them up. So we're going to release them in Lemon Bay and everything else in the bag with them, which I'm sure there are more. So 
we're going to duplicate the same experiment by uh, containing them in the mesh bag with the bait trap and then I'm going to put in a sponge or two to suck in um, nutrients and algae and we've prematurely opened the egg sacs and those little white guys down there if we are blessed with success will in about a week or maybe two weeks they will have been eating algae prematurely and they'll start looking like a horse conch, the orange horse conch and not only that we'll be increasing our hatch rate exponentially by the thousands instead of one snail per egg, um, egg sac um, making it because in, in the wild um, they all are cannibals inside the egg sac